Alright, so today we have the Chaos Bloom. So with this elemental, as you cascade, you may put a land card from among the cascaded cards onto the battlefield tapped. So I'm thinking of going a cascade ramp route with some low costed spells and some landfall, as well as some mana rocks. We'll be cascading into those mana rocks as well as some other just like really good cascading synergistic spells and we'll see where we can go with that. This deck I wanted to combine two of my favorite things, which is Cascading, as well as uh, Landfall Triggers. When I saw this guy spoiled, I was like, oh, this is perfect, this is like two of my favorite things, all rolled into one. I love the uh, teamer colors. Uh, let's check out the deck. Uh, just some like typical ramp commander stuff, as well as some manipulating the top of my library. Um, the scroll rack, we have some cascading right here, um, just some good stuff. Basically anything that has like cascade in the text um, came into consideration when I was making this deck. I had to cut a bunch of them, but I also had to make room for a significant amount of land ramp in this deck. You want to really make sure that you're hitting all those landfall triggers um, when you have them out. Uh, pretty typical um, red, green, blue land package that you got here. Uh, instance, again, pretty typical package, uh, as well as like your cascading effects. Um, a lot of these are small mana costs, so these are like going to be the things that you're going to be cascading into, as well as like these artifacts. A lot of small mana costs, so they'll be like the things you're cascading into. Um, enchantments, a lot of the same stuff. You have your like cascade type guys here and here, and you have your uh, kind of land rampy guys here and here. Go over to creatures, you have all your cascade creatures, tons of cascade creatures, as well as creatures that trigger off of lands entering the battlefield. Uh, uh, Scoot Swarm is really good because it's a local of mana cost, so you find yourself cascading into it a lot, and then all those lands that are coming in kind of make it go crazy pretty quickly. Uh, just a whole lot of cascade. Even when your board gets wiped, like you throw down like the apex, and then all of a sudden you have a new board again. Uh, let's check it out. Um, we're gonna throw this down. I'll throw it down there. Get that out. Um, there. Fertile it. Got Stevens. I'm going tap though. I'll tap these to put fertile it down to one and get. Um, an island. Get us not our commander. We already had that. Signet signet will come in, then this will come in. Ooh. See this will be good protection, so if they try to like deal with our engine, we can tap both of these, sacrifice the signet, get this back to our hand. So it's it's dire. It's that. It's coming to that. Um we'll play our commander. Let's get that out. One, two, three, four, five. What's this doing? Do a little next damage. Some spells you cast this turn. Cast one and then we'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. So one, two, three, four, five. Play that. And 
aja signal out then this comes out and deals three to something oh and I get one of those lands oh yeah so then just keep going like that just keep ramping throw both of those out next turn oh we'll shuffle by then twice yeah so we get more cascade you start stalling out, then you just sacrifice one of these guys to cascade this again. Get more big guys. So this really, truly is your engine. You want to keep that safe as much as you have this safe. Because really, as long as you have this out and this, like you're probably going to hit a land or a big guy. And then you throw this out. And cascading like small stuff is good with this out, because then you'll tend to like whiff on a bunch and go and hit a bunch of lands, so you can at least get one trigger off 